Hello YouTube people. Thank you for telling me that such thing as Time Grapher app exists. I almost bought the real Time Grapher, even though it would be interesting to compare the app to the real Time Grapher. But that's for another time probably. Right now I have a bunch of automatic watches and one fully mechanical watch. They are all fully wound and let's see what results we're gonna get. I also made this little table. Let's fill this table in. This is the watch facing up time, beat error, the watch facing down time, beat error. And I'm not gonna wait full minute to get the results. We're just gonna mess a bit around. Let's just have fun. And if you just wanna get the results, you wanna see the results, skip to the end of the video and I will show you full, full table filled. Now, let's take all those watches aside. So they, they won't, wouldn't interfere with the time grapher. And let's start messing around. And also out of all these watches, this is the only one that I have adjusted myself. All other watches are not touched. They are original as they come. So the first watch is Invicta Pro Diver. Let's take the Invicta Pro Diver. Let's put it next to the microphone. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And as I, as I told you, I'm not gonna wait a full minute. So let's just start. It doesn't wanna pick the sound somehow. Let's start again. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Okay, we're not gonna wait full time. So we have plus 30 seconds and beat error one millisecond. Now let's flip the watch upside down. Also, it has Seiko and H35 movement if you haven't seen. Nice watch. Such a nice watch. Let's see what it can do. Interesting, rather different results. Instead of plus 30, this time is plus 15 seconds. Beat error is the same though. Quite a big difference, 30 seconds and 15. Hmm, still a nice watch, <laughs> still a nice watch. Okay, so what's the next watch on my list? It's PD1661, the golden one. Beautiful watch, I like the dial. The dial is very beautiful. Also, Seiko and H35. Let's see what it can do. Okay, roughly plus 12 seconds and 1.1 beat error. Now flip the watch upside down. Let's see what we're gonna get now. Hmm, different results. Plus 3 seconds and 0.8 milliseconds beat error. Next watch. The next watch is PD1668. This big boy. Nice watch. Also Seiko and H35. The same movement as well. Let's see what's gonna what's gonna do. Okay. Minus five seconds. Beat error 0 0.8. Let's flip it upside down. Okay, plus 4 seconds and 0 0.6. Interesting. Facing up it was minus 5 and facing down it's plus 5. <laughs> so you can probably, sell, probably tell it, it runs on 0. <laughs> okay. Next one is Adias Dive. This Adias Dive with blue anti-reflective coating and it also has Seiko Niche 35A movement. Let's see. Also, if you are bored, don't worry. Just skip towards the end of the video. I'll show you the table fully filled in. Well, this is the first watch with zero beat error. Plus 11 seconds, but that's not a big deal. 
and bitter zero or 0 0.1 not so bad okay flip it upside down this one is healthy okay plus 16 seconds and zero bit error don't forget all these watches are basically new and they probably need a little bit of wear in you know for these movements to settle down i'm not sure if that's necessary but I, i'm guessing okay cadison this is they just homage and this one is not a seiko moment this one is miyota moment the annoying one that winds the watch only in one direction okay let's see let's see how good it is or bad i don't know okay writing that down plus plus 10 seconds and zero bit error okay let's flip it upside down plus 11 seconds and zero bit error not bad at all not bad miyoto movement going well next one is also cadison but this one has also date function day function sorry not date also miyoto movement let's see what it can do haven't seen such a messy graph yet okay minus four and one millisecond bit error okay let's flip it upside down okay we have plus what do we have plus three seconds and one one millisecond of bit error I don't know that the graph looks very messy but the results are not bad I don't know next one is Parnis oh I love this watch I also have adjusted this watch several times somehow I just keep knocking it off and it starts losing or gaining the time but right now it should be okay let's see what it's, go what it's gonna show Okay, plus one second and 1.3 milliseconds bit error. Let's flip it upside down. Let's see if anything gonna change. Plus two seconds and 1.3 milliseconds of bit error. I'm kind of proud of myself. Huh? <laughs> Did a good job on this one. <laughs> I don't know for how long it's gonna run this nice, although I might need to adjusting it once again i don't know so this one is mechanical very interesting looking movement i wouldn't say it's nice looking movement but it's definitely very intriguing very interesting looking movement yeah i just love looking at it it's just hypnotizing and yeah let's let's see what it can do it's very fresh watch i have been wearing this watch only for five days right now i don't quite remember something about that uh, or ab about about five days plus six seconds 0 0.7 not bad not bad looks very healthy okay let's flip it upside down plus three seconds and 0 0.8 i'm pretty happy with the results not a bad watch not a bad watch i just don't know what that extra noise is here but maybe it needs a little bit of running in it has domed sapphire crystal with blue and reflective coating those blue hands and these numbers are printed very nicely they have some thickness very fat print very interesting watch i love this big crown not gonna wind it now because it's fully wound but even spinning it backwards listen oh my god i just love this watch such a lovely watch 41 millimeters really looking forward to do a review on this watch 
Okay, so here are the results. And I'm pretty happy how it turned out. Although not sure about Invicta Pro Diver up 30 seconds, facing down plus 15 seconds, quite a big difference. But overall, very happy with, with this parness, how it turned out. I have adjusted it myself. I'm very happy with this watch. Very interesting movement and runs great. Okay, I hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs> thank you for watching and really thank you for telling me about this app. So have a beautiful day. Goodbye.